What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel, Paolo Levy here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what's in my camera bag for the year 2020. So, let's get it on. Starting with, of course, the camera bag that I'm using. I'm using the Low Pro Pro Tactic 350. This is the first version. They actually have another version, which is the 451. That one is a bit bigger than this one. But I find it that this is actually just right for what I need. The reason I picked this one over the 450 is because it's actually smaller and when I go out and do some street photography, I really don't need a big bag. So I usually just bring one camera and then probably two lenses and a mic if I'm vlogging. The 350 version is better because it's compact, you know, it doesn't draw much attention uh, whenever I do go out. If ever I do have events that needs a bigger bag, I do have another bag that is the in case. That one is much bigger than this one and when I need to bring more gears then I'm going to be using that one. But for my everyday backpack, camera bag, this is what I use. Let's talk, about, let's talk about a little bit about the bag. What I actually love about it is basically the design of it. I just love how it is so compact. Some special features that I love about this bag is that it has three access points, one from the top, one from the side, and another one on the other side. That means that I can easily access the camera from whichever angle, from the two sides or from the top. As you can see, the camera is on top, right over here. But for me personally, I don't use those sides because I want my camera I have a, um, usually I want my camera over here. This is a big design. You can just put your um, camera over here and then whenever you're not gonna use it, you're just gonna put it over here. I find that much more easier. So whenever I'm tired of holding my camera, I'm just gonna put the camera right over here. Uh, one thing I like about this bag also is it does have the um, active zone right over here. It actually helps you with the uh, perspiration. So if you're going to like long hikes or whatever and it's really padded also to secure your back so your back is not going to be hurting that much. You can access your cameras and all your gears from the back. Now I like this feature because if you are going to places you know that you would be protected because um, the only way to access your gears is through your back and I like that feature. All right, let's open the bag. All right, first things first is, this is the uh, Power Beats. I love using this whenever I'm editing on the go. Whenever you're editing on the go, you do need a headphones or earphones or whatever to listen to your audio. And my choice of equipment is the Power Beats. I like that it is Bluetooth and you can just connect it to your computer. And uh, also I use this for uh, whenever I go to the gym, so. That's one of the cool features I like about it, and it's red. For my audio, I'm using the uh, Rode Video Pro. I haven't upgraded to the Video Pro Plus. I find this still good. I know some people are <laughs> not really fond of turning your mic on. Sometimes that some people forget to turn it on, ending that you don't have any audio. <laughs> For me personally, I don't think it's uh, gonna be a big hassle. So. I am not switching it, maybe in the near future, but for now, that's what I'm using for my audio. And I also have the uh, Rode Video Micro. I do have that for backup. So the first camera I bring is of course the Canon RP with the RF 24 to 105. I like this lens because um, it's pretty much all around. Whenever I do my street photography and all that, whenever I go outside, I usually use this one. But for vlogging, I am using the uh, 10 to 18 with the adapter on it. So I use this one for vlogging, if I'm vlogging. All of these gears is usually what's in my camera bag whenever I do go out. But bear in mind guys that if I do have shoots or whatever um, that needs more lenses, then uh, that's the only time that I would bring my other lenses. I do have the uh, 24 to 70 f 2.8. This is the first version. Um, this is the one I'm using for events, for weddings, for engagements and all that, and for all the gigs. Of course, you would want your clients to have a better quality of image and the only way to do that is if you do have a 
lens that can shoot at least 2.8 i do have the 70 to 200 2.8 i bring that also for my second camera that actually goes over here that's actually where my sony 6400 goes pair up with the 18 to 105 f4 the sony 6400 i mainly use that for video if ever i do have a video gig that's the one I'm gonna be bringing. If you guys don't know, I really love Peter McKinnon. He's one of my inspirations for photography and videography. I purchased his uh, memory card holder. This is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic memory card case. Look at that. Look at that. Magnet. That is so awesome. I actually can fit like six micro SD cards here and then two, I think, CF cards. I love the color. The design is awesome. It's perfect. If you do edit on the go, you would need a SSD card. I am using this SanDisk SSD card. So I use this whenever I edit on the go. It's 500 gigabytes. So that would be enough. Whenever I'm done, I just transfer it to, uh, I have another one that is like two terabytes and I just transfer the files from there whenever I'm done editing. This is the uh, SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD card and it is super fast. I really recommend it. If you're looking for one, I do suggest this one because it's really compact and it's super fast. We have a power bank. This is the Black Web power bank. It's a 10,400 milliamps power bank. This is USB. So you can just connect your uh, chargers here, especially for whenever I'm doing a video. For the sony 6400 it has two usb ports right over here so you can connect to um, usb powered um, chargers so you can connect there and then the middle one that's where you charge your power bank now what i love about this is the fact that there you go it has a flashlight built-in flashlight see that this is really um, helpful if you do need something to light. <laughs> if ever you're shooting and you need something like a light or whatever, so you can use this. Once again, this is the uh, Black Web Power Bank. Now for now for editing videos and all that, I am using the 13-inch 2017 MacBook Pro. I am really in love with this. <laughs> I have been editing with this one for the last past three years now and I am really amazed by how fast you can edit your photos and all that here. I haven't had any problems. I've been editing uh, all my videos and photos here and if I do need to have like a bigger view, I just connect it to my monitor right over here. Macro Pro. So for attaching memory cards, I got this. This is the Elive Buy. I just got this from Amazon and um, so far I haven't had any problems with this. I've been using this for like two years now and uh, yeah, it's just cheap. I like the fact that it's gray, same as my MacBook Pro. And for browsing and all that, I, I am using the mouse, Apple mouse. I don't even know what to call this, but yeah, I'm using this one, Magic Mouse, I think. So on this pouch, I do have a plastic of sorts right over here so this is where i keep all my um, accessories like quick, quick design on um, tabs and all that you have your quick release right over here screws of course your handy coin all right guys so that is it that's what's in my camera bag for the year 2020 it's really not that much but this is what i work with right now and uh, hopefully soon I can get more gears. Whatever uh, you've seen here is just my everyday carry. But of course, it still depends on what I'm shooting. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do have any questions, just uh, comment down below. Just a quick update for the channel. I do have a lot of plans uh, regarding the channel. Just stay tuned for all the coming videos. Now I'm planning to do another video for what I bring usually for video shoots and whatnot so just stay tuned for that i also build a camera rig for my 6400 so stay tuned for that i'll be doing another video for that one 
but for today that's gonna be all for me i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did just give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace